Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 29 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Ottomans. And uh, we've accumulated some money. We'll be going to war again soon. I'm actually considering getting a fort up here in Donji uh, Kraji. And the reason for that is, imagine Austria attacks us. Uh, they can't move through either of these provinces because of the fort here. They can't move through Vid in Serbia or Bosnia because of the fort in Serbia. But they could move through Don Kraji or Dalmatia. So this might be a very good place to go ahead and build ourselves a castle. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm actually looking forward to patch 1.19 because they're apparently completely reworking the way that zone of control works. So that may, might, might make life a little bit more interesting. Uh, we can have like nine more ships. So I think we'll go ahead as we've got the money and we'll go ahead and get uh, four more lights. Uh, and I think we'll go ahead and uh, get ourselves uh, another heavy as well actually. So let's go ahead and work on a carrot. So we'll have five heavies. We can invest in an idea. Um, now then, military tech. We aren't behind. And there's nothing particularly important. There is some cavalry fire and a little bit of infantry shock. But it's not one of the most important levels. So what I'm thinking about doing is finishing this off because it'll give us artillery combat ability and it'll give us 5% discipline, which I think is going to be a lot more useful than the, the tech itself. Uh, we're also now only one um, idea away from a 10% national tax modifier. Lose 80 ducats and gain 2.5 discipline for 10 years or gain cavalry combat ability. I think the discipline will t suffer fewer losses. We've already got stat cavalry combat ability anyway. Um, we've been caught fabricating over here. Well, we can fabricate a claim anyway. Uh, let's go for Mush. Or Moosh, because it's closest. So we have a CB against them. We don't have any um, coalition against us at the moment. Now, these guys are my uh, um, rival. So 20th of September, we're going to go back over there and start building a spy network again. Um, oh yeah, that's right. The Mamluks have got military access, but we we can cancel that now. Uh, I only offered it to them. Um, I only offered it to them because I wanted to see if I, they'd let me have military access to get my units out. Nope, you're not having it. Um, right, we can go back to um, lost you, lost you, building spy network. Uh, a request to share your maps of Maghreb from France. Um. Accepting would let them to discover one province and give us 10 prestige. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Anytime you want, France. Anytime you want. So, France should still really like us, hopefully. Um, they do. Alliance, improved relations, different religion. Uh, I do want to make sure I sort of keep this relations topped off constantly with France. Uh, Castile... Still hate, hate because they're still rivaled. We can get more improved relations with them. Still can't get them up to like a positive amount. But um, I just want them to stop being my rival. If I get bigger or they get... I don't know how they can legitimately rival me. Are they actually integrating at the moment? Um, doesn't look like they are. It'd be nice if, um, like, Naples or Aragon would, um... But we can't agitate for liberty, that's the problem. Um, agitate for liberty requires Diplotech 27. I feel that that should be much earlier on in the game, to be honest. That feels far too... Far too far in. Um, those Wallachian Separatists have gone away completely now. Mamlukian Separatists might still pop. Georgian Separatists might still pop. Not too bothered about all of that. Um, how long is it before we get our next idea group? Uh, the next idea group comes at level 14. So quite some time off. How are we doing on the institutions? Um, three of our provinces, 4.1%. Uh, we'll recall our diplomat from Castile. Come on, Castile, stop. Stop being my, um... Apparently as well, though, uh, in 1.19, they are making a change so that in a peace deal, you can tell someone to stop being a rival. So that could be quite a nice thing. Uh, gain 40 military power. Uh, the loss of some ducats. Yeah, sure. 
I think what we should probably do as well, now we've actually paid off all our loans and we're making some money, we should hire some better advisors. We can afford to do that now. The morale of armies guy is nice. Um, we've finished our military ideas though, so I think we'll just leave them on plus one. Uh, admin guy. Um, we can get a plus three guy for national tax modifier. Sure. And our Diplo guy, we can get better relations over time. Now we're losing money. No, we are still making money because we're now getting that 10% national tax modifier. It's, we're losing a fair bit. But having that uh, those extra points are going to work out well for us. We might have to sort of reduce one of them down. In fact, let's have a quick look at the estates. Because we might be able to get one um, cheaper. We'll recall the diplomat from you. Um, I can never remember which one's which. Recruit Minister. Um, oh, they don't have enough influence. Uh, recruit Minister. Master of Mint. A cheap Master of Mint would be nice. But you'd need 40, um, 40 influence. That's the Merchant Guilds. Can I give anything here to the Merchant Guilds? Let's give you to the Merchant Guilds. Um, that doesn't quite put you up enough yet. Gaza as well. No, not Gaza. You're the Merchant Guilds. Um, I assume we already gave Ragusa to the Merchant Guilds. Yes, we did. Um, let's give you to the Merchant Guilds as well, then. Can't give you to the Merchant Guilds because you don't have enough uh, trade power. You do. So, you're off to the Merchant Guilds. So, now that the Merchant Guilds should have enough influence, so we can recruit a minister... So, if we go over here now, um, it should be a Master of Mint. I got it wrong. Let's look at this again. Uh, it was the early inflation reduction guy. He's the Master of Mint. Yeah, so we can get an inflation reduction guy. He's rank 3, and he's only going to cost us 5.74 per month instead of 11.47 per month. So, half price, rank 3 guy. That'll do. Obviously, I've had to hire two guys now, so that's cost me a bit more money. Um, but that'll save us some money. See, this guy's 11.47. So, we could get a, a rank 3 Diplo guy, potentially, if we... Um, We'd have to go to the is it the uh, Ulima. Get a theologian. The Inquisitor could be useful. Yeah, the Inquisitor could actually be very useful. Um, help with those conversions. The sons of William Luke the First. His Imperial Majesty William Luke the First, Sovereign of the House of Osman, Sultan of the Sultans, Khan of Khans, uh, Kaiser Ibrahim, an Emperor of the three three cities of Constantinople, Adrianople, and Bursa, has a reputation as a great man and is unchallenged as a ruler. As befits a man of his calibre and stature, the Sultan has fathered several capable children and many who show great promise as future rulers. As both the sons themselves and our government officials are aware, however, only one can inherit and there is little in the way of consol consolation prizes. Our viziers are adamant that it is now high time for William Luke I to name a favourite among possible successors. This is unlikely to end with competition for his favour, but will hopefully stop the worst succession struggles that might follow if our Padissa should meet with his maker without having picked a clear successor. So our strongest son, a 255, a gregarious son, a 555, or a 3... Well, why, why would we take one that isn't a 555? Why would we take one that isn't 555? <laughs> um, we get to choose a name here. Um, I want to pause. Thank you very much, game. Um, 
so we've got William. I can't even remember who I've added now in the list. Um, but let's go in and put people in. I'm just working down the list now. So, uh, Rick Thacker, you are going in. You're the next one. Um, Austria has embraced colonialism. Well, that's not fantastic, is it? So, we've got a 555 air now. Very, very good. Do you have any um, traits? You don't have your personality trait yet. William, you're giving us minus 10% trade efficiency because you're indulgent. Stop it. Stop being terrible. Now, do we want to get a... We are making what now? 4.85. We could put our army maintenance down now, I suppose. Uh, we, are, we do still have some of these that might pop. Do I want... Right, do I want to give more influence to um, the Ulima? Um, give them loyalty. They would lose loyalty. Gain loyalty. There used to be a way to actually just give them influence. That one. Seek support of the clergy. We lose five prestige and five legitimacy, but they gain influence and loyalty. Um, but that only puts them up to 45. But we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Um, give them a... T oh, we can do this now. So do we want the Inquisitor or do we want the Theologian? I think we'll go for the Inquisitor. Um, now those guys are upset, but that's fine. So, if we go now and look at this guy, we should have a, um, wait, hang on. Oh, the Inquisitor's going to be here, isn't it? Balls, that was a mistake. Always forget. So, we've got a guy now that can give us plus two missionary strength. I, I always forget that the missionary, um, missionary strength guy, that the Inquisitor is admin. I always think that he should be Diplo. So, we've got a rank one and a rank two. Well, there's no point replacing the guy that we've we've already got, unless we don't have any inflation left. We do still have inflation, so we'll keep him around. That was a little bit of a derp on my part, but it's not the uh, worst thing to ever happen, so I'm not going to cry about it. Uh, fabricate claim. Let's get um, Cisire or Cisri, or however the heck that's pronounced. Uh, claims on the Mamluks. What can we get on you, good sir? Um, Cairo. Definitely want to claim on Cairo. And uh, we'll probably try and pounce on them, because I don't think they've got any... They're allied with Oman. Oman is down here. So as soon as that truce is up, which is going to be a while, um, but as soon as that truce is up, I might try and jump on them before they have a, a chance to really do much else. Uh, we do have a little bit of money left, however. Uh, it'd be nice if those Mamelukian separatists would just pop, actually. Um, Dalmatia, Alcaric, Ajun, Suez... Yeah, I'm just going to wait to see if that pops. I, I was thinking that I'd like the uh, it all to go away so that I could just go ahead and reduce my um, army maintenance, but we'll just wait for it to uh, wait for it to wait for it to pop. Uh, we've got that extra heavy ship, which we can now mothball and group them all together. That'll save us a tiny bit more money. Um, we can pick up our first humanist idea now. How are we doing in terms of admin tech? We are slightly behind. And picking up the next one uh, wouldn't really help us. What does it give us? Textile manufactories. See, we're paying a lot for, for technology and it's not really going to help us. So I think going for the religious unity plus 25% will actually be quite good. Uh, and it'll also give us the um, national tax modifier anyway. So if we look at our rel religious unity at the moment, it is at 93%. But once we go ahead and take this... So now we get an extra 10% national tax modifier. Our religious unity is at 118%. And we have some rebels who have popped down here. That's annoying, but you are in dry lands though. Uh, let's start moving down with this army just in case we don't have enough men. Um, we didn't have our best leader in charge there, which was a little bit silly. Uh, that's the, the rebels rolling back to back nines, which didn't help. Um, uh, we've rolled a 9 to a 0 in the shock phase. We've got it. There we go. So we did sort them out. Okay, you guys know. It's a false alarm. Get back. <laughs> Retreat. It's all done. We are losing money now. That's probably because we're reinforcing. Considering we've just got like an extra 10% national tax modifier, we should be making money, not losing it. Um, but we, we are likely to get some um, more separatists pop. 
I think I just can't afford to have that level 3 um, Diplo guy. He's He is crippling me. The better relations over time is nice. But I think we'll just go for the um, the trade efficiency. We'll just do it that way. We need to make some money back because we want to get some buildings. Um, let's have a quick look at our uh, tax buildings. Because there's probably quite a few more good ones that we can get right now. Um... So there's a lot of places where we don't have them at all. So there's a few point thirteens around. We're not going to be able to afford many, but each one we can get is going to help us out. Uh, one of our generals has died. Um, so let's go ahead and hire one. Might get a good one. Uh, or we might get a 1-1-1. It's terrible. Okay, you've got some siege just slightly better. How many generals are we allowed to have currently? We are allowed to have four. So we could... I think we're just going to get rid of you. Well, you, we've paid for you. You, you. At least you you are a general. You'll deal do for fights against rebels. We'll leave the other slot open. Because we might decide we need an admiral or something later on. Which would be slightly better. Uh, making 14 ducats a month again. So I'm good with that. Now then. How many provinces are you likely to fire in? Just... Um, dear Bar Barkir. Which is this one here. So if we go ahead and... Um, oh, we decrease the autonomy. Well, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, how much is this going away? What's causing it? Um, Non-accepted culture. And you've got four years of separatism. Well, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and stand you on top of it. What I was thinking of, if, we could get, if I could get rid of some of the higher... Um, if I could get rid of some of the higher factions, we could just reduce our army maintenance. That was kind of the plan that I was going for. Uh, you have a little bit too much army weight there. Uh, weight is 25. Supply limit is 22. Let's just go ahead and um, break off a few units. Just so you're not taking attrition is kind of the plan there. Uh, what are we doing on our naval force limit? We can still have four more ships. We will get some more lights eventually. Uh, we can have 11 more units of infantry. So almost enough to start another stack. I think we might start doing that actually. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, recruit one infantry and we'll use that to start building the rest on. Gain a trader. Great advisor has died. At least it wasn't one of the guys that we'd paid extra for. Um, minus 10% land maintenance modifier. Why not? Now That'll save us a bit more money as well. 18.8 .8 ducats per month. Uh, definitely want to make sure that we keep getting the uh, tax buildings where we can. Uh, the mosques. So anything that's like 0.13... And particularly the ones around the capital. Um, their opinion. Lose Diplo power. Yeah, well, they're our rival anyway. So why do I care about their opinion? Um, Castile. Why do you still hate me? You are now rivaled by Tunis as well. Um, please stop rivaling me. Minus 16. We can get that down to minus 100. I don't know why they're still rivaled with me. It really makes no sense at this point. I just want to make sure we stay rivaled with France. That's the important thing for me. Um, not rivaled with France. Friendly with France. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend 10 more favours. I want to get my trust up to like as much as possible with France. Uh, this is in Crimea again. Crimea have the numbers to deal with it. So I'll let them deal with it. And uh, Crimea, who is your current ruler? Is still an admin guy. You really need to get somebody. Oh, you are a militarist. So you're a militarist. And oh, you, ha you have fabricated claims. It's just not showing them from when I click on me. So you are fabricating some claims. So you do have a claim against Georgia. And you are getting some claims against Lithuania. Lithuania is less a partner under Poland. So maybe not such a great idea. Uh, Poland is rivaled with France, though. So if we ever did want to declare war on Poland, not that we have a CB, uh, France would actually come in and help us. But there again, we would be dealing with some of the um, Bohemia and the Papal State and stuff like that. Gain 10 prestige. Very nice. Very nice. 
Uh, you appear not to have managed to get rid of your rebels there, um, Crimea. There, there they go. Um, so, yeah, we are going to want to attack these guys as soon as possible. They do appear to be having a little bit of a rebellion problem, though. Side with the Alima or the Merchant Guilds. They're going to get loyalty. I like loyalty on the Merchant Guilds. Loyalty on the Merchant Guilds gives me money. Uh, at least it used to. Uh, cheaper development cost and trade efficiency. Very good. Um, as we have so much loyalty with you, is there anything we can actually get from you? Draft ships for war. Lose 15 loyalty. Um, we get five heavies for free. And in half the time. Uh, Grant Monopoly Charters. That just increases their thing. Get, gain 100 Diplo power. Ask for a contribution. Why not? Lose 10 loyalty and gain like nearly 500 ducats. Sure. Uh, we don't want to be Defender of the Faith. Invest in any technology. We can get our Diplo tech. Um, we don't want to start falling behind. We don't have a Diplo idea group at the moment. So we might as well start spending it on tech. I know the institution is making our tech cost a little bit more than it should be, but I think we've got to uh, we've got to understand that we still need to uh, we still need to tech up. We can't just wait. Um, but that probably seems like a good place to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying EU4. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.